What are the Egyptian mummies? Mummies may be thought of as living dead or ancient monsters, but this is not the case at all. Mummies are the preserved bodies of pharaohs or ancient Egyptians from long ago. Egyptians believed that the body needed to be preserved to exist in the afterlife. The mummification process is just one necessity to this very large topic in Egyptian religion. Egyptians used a method called embalming while mummifying. In total, the sacred process took 70 days. Rather than a regular Egyptian citizen performing the task, priests were selected to do it. Natron, a salt with great drying properties, was used inside and on the body to completely remove the moisture. Now it was time to remove the internal sections of the body. It may disgust some, but a device that was somewhat like a hook was shoved up through the nose and pulled the brain out bit by bit. From the left side of the body, the priests removed the organs from the chest and abdomen. That may seem like completely disassembling the body, but the heart was left inside for its belief to be the center of the person's being and intelligence. The other remaining organs were placed in jars, today named canopic jars. However, later on, they began to individually wrap and replace those organs. Despite these priests seemingly destroying the body, they wanted it to look as alive and like a human body as possible. The areas more sunken down were filled, and the lifeless human eyes were replaced by fake ones. A hundred yards of linen were used for every body. The Egyptians needed to protect the body in a way other than just preserving it, so they used magical words, prayers, and amulets on it. After all the preparations were complete, Egyptians used the opening of the mouth to open the senses of the person to the afterlife. The mummy was then placed in its coffin, or coffins, and the chamber is sealed. And finally, in hopes of the Egyptian people, the pharaoh makes it to the afterlife.